Well, good morning, viewers. Today we have a 2016, I believe it's a code G, uh, Toyota Tacoma. And it's here because the AC started making noise. And the AC is not working. Now, looking up at this compressor clutch, I see the drive plate is broken free. I'm going to try turning the compressor to see if it's seized. So that was a bit of a challenge to get off because this bolt is Loctited and it's an 8 mil to start with but the socket slipped on it so I had to use one of these reverse spiral easy outs. Now you, the compressor turns nice and free but this is what's failed. This bonded rubber piece has been uh, spinning on the so it just needs this drive plate if we could buy just the drive plate chances are you can't. Uh, there's a selective washer out of there that establishes the air gap. This thing is hardly worn. It's very unusual for this to fail, but it has. Now, I realize now that this is R1234YF, and I'm not set up to do with R1234YF, but if we're just going to change this drive plate and reestablish the air gap, we should be good to go. The compressor turns nice and smooth, in my opinion. So you can see, you can reach up through here and access this drive plate. This is not even that badly worn compared to some other ones I've seen. So I'm going to see if I can source a clutch kit for it. We'll go from there. So here's the problem. I talked to the dealer and the part is not available separate from the compressor from the dealer. Um, I searched Rock Auto and it's not even available on Rock Auto. But on... Uh, eBay, I found several AC compressor clutch kits. I've changed quite a few of these and I've had fairly good success. Now, you can buy it for about $40, the whole kit, which we don't really need the whole kit. We just need this drive plate. So I sourced it on Amazon, believe it or not, uh, for around 30 Canadian, just the drive plate. There it is there. And it's going to be about a week to get it, uh, but it's worth waiting for, in my opinion. Yeah, 30 Canadian. Now, this says for a 2.7 and a 4 liter, and this is actually a 3.6. So I'm hoping this is going to be correct. It looks correct. And all the other ones list the same thing uh, from 2005 to 16. And I think. 15 or 16 they went to the 3.6 from the 4 liter it certainly looks the same but time will tell the truck can be driven with the drive plate off of it because the bearing is still spinning free and we don't have to touch the bearing it's nice and smooth and the compressor turns nice and smooth so i think we're going to just put this drive plate on and establish the air gap and hopefully that's going to fix it Well, good morning viewers. Today we're going to try to put this new AC compressor clutch drive plate on this Tacoma. I think it's a Tacoma. Yes, it is. Uh, got the hoist tied up, so I'm going to have to work on the floor. I can reach it from up top, and I'm going to try and get at it from the bottom. It, the new drive plate comes with a new retaining bolt and some selective shims. Um, you want to try to maintain about a eight to ten thou air gap in my opinion between the drive plate and the front of the compressor. I think I'm going to run it and hold some sandpaper on the front of the compressor to clean it up. Well it's hard to see from up here but the compressor is cycling just fine now and we've got cold air. There's no noises from the compressor. Yeah nice and cool which is going to be beneficial because it's 24 today outside it has been hotter in the last few days but he's probably been dying without this ac so we got to put the skid plate back on you can see the compressor turning there there it kicked in again so I thought I'd throw the scanner on it just to see if I could see the AC pressures. Although the system seems to be functioning properly. 
This is a new vehicle record. I've never scanned it before. So I'll have a record of it afterwards. No warning lights on, but just to be proactive and look at the pressures if they're available on the scan tool. Hundred eleven, hundred seventeen thousand kilometers. Let's just check for codes and see if there's any codes. No codes. Let's look at data. Uh, we. Well, let's see if it's in this data list. Usually they have one data list with accessories. That's assuming that the ECM controls the AC, but I don't see any AC related PIDs in this data list. No, I'm going to look around. So I couldn't find any data parameters in the engine control computer, so I decided to go into heating and air conditioning. And let's see if there's any codes in there. HVAC current codes, no current codes. Let's see if there's any history codes. B1422 compressor lock. That's an interesting code. I wonder if we can clear that code while it's running. Must be on key on engine off, but let's try. Let's see if it cleared. Yes, it did. Let's look and see if there's any kind of data parameters related to uh, pressures. This is the automatic air conditioning system. Like I said, it seems to be working fine. There's no noises coming from the compressor. This is all interior stuff. Regulator pressure sensor in inches of mercury, 290. Is that going up and down with the compressor cycling? I can hear it clicking on and off. Yes, it is. Well, I don't know what that is in PSI. I'd have to do a conversion. 240 to 299, 300 basically. Well, I think we're going to let it go at that. I'm going to take it for a road test to see how it performs on the highway. So I just took the vehicle for a road test. The uh, air conditioning works perfectly fine. And that B1422 hasn't come back. And I did a keyword search on Identifix for it. And I see a tech tip here. And it basically says the ECM sends an engine RPM signal to the AC amplifier via CAN network. The AC amplifier should get an AC compressor RPM input from the lock sensor that is in the AC compressor. The AC amplifier compares the engine RPM to the AC compressor RPM, and if there is too great a difference between the two RPM readings, the AC amplifier will assume the AC compressor is locking up or the belt is slipping and the AC amplifier will take the ground away from the magnetic clutch relay to turn off the AC compressor clutch. The amplifier is located behind the right passenger side of the dash and the left of the blower housing. See related document. So with the clutch failed, with the drive plate failed, the compressor wouldn't spin and the compressor RPM would be zero. And it's expecting it to somehow correlate to engine RPM and it's not. So that stands to reason it would set the B1422 code. But for now, that's this is uh, fine. I did take it for a road test and the AC works perfect. Uh, it does need front brake work though. I hear a rubbing noise coming from the front brakes and I looked at the left front wheel and the brake pads are down to basically nothing. But that's a job for another day. Thanks for watching.